Hey guys, in this video, I want to explain to you why and how EMS is a way out the hood. And I can tell you from my personal experience, you know, when I started working in EMS, you know, my past is very, very different from my present. You know, like nine out of 10 of the people I was raised with are dead in jail or been to jail. You know, I'm a high school dropout who eventually became a medical doctor. You know, I made a video on this previously. But um, one of the reasons that I've been able to meet these milestones of success in my life is, and I owe it to, you know, first and foremost, God for allowing me to become an EMT. And how did EMS get me out of the hood mentality? And not just me, a lot of people that I've met have used becoming an EMT as a ticket out of the hood. Now how, you know, the barrier to entry is very small. So you go ahead, you take this this three to six month course as an EMT, you become an EMT and then you start working. But then when you start working, you start exposing yourself to people that are in a lot of instances in a better situation than you are mentally and financially. And some of these people are willing to take you under the wing. So for example, if you're a brand new EMT, you come into work living in the projects, but then your partner is a paramedic who's in nursing school, you know, you have this influence from your neighborhood guiding you to making mistakes, but then you're working with your partner 36 to 40 hours a week and your partner's her or his work ethic, her or his influence, good influence, may rub off on you and motivate you to become a paramedic, motivate you to become a nurse, and for you to realize that, hey, if they could do it, I could do it. So that was the same thing with me. My first mentor survived 9-11, and I started taking the job as an EMT seriously. My second mentor was a doctor. Then I became a doctor because being exposed into healthcare, I was able to see what I could really do as a human being and I was always surrounded about around positive vibes although this is a very stressful and depressing jobs at times I was always surrounded about around people that are always trying to get something going like EMTs are always thinking about going to paramedic school and then paramedics are always thinking about becoming a physician assistant becoming a nurse getting a side hustle check out this video on side hustles right and it's just like, like a, a never ending revolving door with people that are talented is basically what I've noticed EMS is. And this is why I say EMS, if taken seriously, if using what's in front of you could be a ticket out of the hood, it definitely has been for me. I mean, I still go back to the hood because my mom lives there. I still visit and say hello to my friends and all that, but a ticket out the hood mentally because mentally I see things different now because of working in healthcare. You get what I'm saying? And it, it hasn't been like that just for me. Like I, I can't even count how many people I know that are EMTs, paramedics and have gone on to become nurses and physician assistants and, and respiratory therapist that started off the same or worse than me you know what i'm saying or they are still working as paramedics but their whole entire life changed all right guys so you know this video I, I'm, I, I'm i'm trying to make it for whoever is like if you can relate if you know you know you know what i'm saying like you got this all right i hope this helps peace